I'm Jerry Redcorn, and I'm Caddo Indian, and I'm from Oklahoma. Uh, I'm a Caddo Potter. I am the the person who is reviving the Caddo pottery that had been lost for many, oh, I'm sure a century, of, if not more. I started, I became a potter after looking at some cattle pots in the museum and I was in my mid-fifties before I ever found out that we were able to do the type of uh, pottery that we do. And, it, and after I began, after I started this, I realized what a magnificent effort that my ancestors had done in, in centuries ago. There are so many cattle pots to study in museums, including this one, um, the Sam Noble Museum of Natural History, um, the, the collections in the Washington, D.C. National Museum of American Indian are fantastic. And so I've been able to study them, and particularly through the artist leadership program that NMAI has, has set up for artists to study their heritage in whatever way they choose. I believe uh, Jerry's application was targeted because she, she reflected a strong um, need in the community uh, and that need was uh, that there are no cattle potters um, uh, or there were no uh, people of the cattle nation uh, creating any pots anymore so she wanted to um, gain some inspiration from the, the collections at the Smithsonian and then come back home and, and share that uh, um, experience uh, with some new people here in Oklahoma. The Artist Leadership Program uh, from the National Museum of the American Indian has been a, a really wonderful opportunity for me because I was able to go to uh, Washington, D.C at the collection, which there was a vast collection, and study them and hold these pots, look at the temper, look at how they were made, and I'm still astonished at how wonderful the designs are, how light the pottery is, and and just basically what, uh, kind of thinking back into maybe what the tools were of my ancestors. What I've seen recently uh, as a result of the Artist Leadership Program are these artists coming back into their communities and um, allowing the community to re-experience cultural arts that haven't been um, in use in recent years. Uh, for example, um, here in, in um, Oklahoma, uh, Jerry Redcorn um, is studying cattle pottery and um, is now teaching a class here in the state uh, to about 15, 18 new students who are being introduced into uh, making cattle pottery. Jerry's a great teacher. She did really, really, we've learned so much from her in just two days and we were so excited about it that the, the uh, woman in front of me that was sitting at my table, we asked her um, to, we asked Jerry to do another class, to do a full class where we could um, go from start to finish, learn how to make the clay and learn how to, you know, just everything, to heat it to everything. Working in the workshops actually been very fun. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, lots of uh, good Caddo stories, and of course, Jerry showing us how to do all of the the pottery. I, I've never done that before, so it was something different. It was really interesting to see how you can hand a piece of clay to 20 different people, and the amount of different things that come out. And mm -hmm. So, and then you compare that to what we saw today when we saw the ancient pottery and how the styles are similar, you know, to, even though we're all doing our own thing, there's some of the things that, like the rims and the ridges and the designs that were really similar to what, you know, things we've never even seen before, so it was really neat. You know, you're going right back to uh, the Mother Earth uh, in making this clay, so it is, it's a simple, simple you know, very, very simple materials. Clay, water, and you mix them together and you make something beautiful, but you are using things from uh, Mother Earth. 
but what I have learned from the people that I that are the elders of my Caddo uh, tribe and are the elders uh, in my family is that that's what they live for. They live for passing on culture to the next generation. And I think any of those, any of my people, my ancestors who are gone and made this, that they would, they would not only approve of what I'm doing, they would applaud my efforts that I was carrying this tradition on. This is me, this is, this is what I love to do. This, this, uh, this brings real joy to my life that I'm able to do this. And the other thing is that I'm able to pass it on to future generations. Mm -hmm.